Hello, it's Tanya again from How's Your Antiques, bringing you another haul video. Uh, I went to the car boot sale yesterday, and these are the things that I found. wasn't sure about buying this doll's buggy, but it reminded me of the McLaren push chairs that are going for quite a good price on eBay. So I bought it just on the off chance that it might be worth something. And I found out that they're going for £25. Here's a vintage blanket. Looks to be 60s or 70s. Um, blankets of that age are worth various prices depending on the pattern. And... I think that one's worth about 15 or 20 pound. There's a couple of teak animals there, a collectible, but have gone down in price. The antelope I'll sell for five pound, and the rhino because it's got damage to the horn I'll sell that one for three. We've got a Dutch opaline glass jar with the Dutch pattern on the sides. Wasn't able to find out anything about that, but I'm going to try selling that for £8. I've got some very small items here that didn't cost me very much, and I didn't really know that much about them, but because it was cheap, decided to try and see what they're worth. There's a cat commander, quite good quality pottery, but doesn't have any marks, so I'm going to try to sell that for about five. These two crested china items turned out to be Goss China, which is a very good make. I found similar ones to this Egyptian style vase for £20 on eBay and that one would be worth about five. There's a little miniature goat vase there and I'm not sure of the age of that. Uh, it looks to be maybe used for a doll's house. Probably try and sell that for about five. And here's a small Mason's pot. Mason's Regency. Old one. Not really sure of the value, but I'll try five on that. Here's a little... Swiss Chalet musical box. They're very collectible. It does work. Oh, it did work yesterday. I'll try that again in a minute. I'm going to sell that for £10. Here's a couple old, of old tins. This one's got a, like a farming scene. The river. Quite badly damaged. I'll probably only sell that for a couple of pounds. This one's an old cash tin without the key. I'll sell that one for five. Here are all the children's books that I managed to pick up. Got the Laurel and Hardy, which I'll sell for two or three pound. This one's quite a collectible one, but this isn't a first edition. Um, so I'm selling that one for ten, otherwise it'd be twenty to thirty pound. 
It's a Meccano catalogue from 1959. It's not just about Meccano, it's got all sorts of articles in, interesting, lots of things to read. And I'll sell that for five. Two interesting ladybird books. I'll sell them for a couple of pounds each. Shoe people I'll sell for one or two pound. There's the Rillaby Mystery by Amy Blyton, a very early, an early one but not a first edition. And in that condition just worth about five pound. This one's a newer version of an old book. Lots of nice pictures. Because of the style of it, I'll sell that for four pound. There's a golly book there worth that one's worth about ten pound. Although well, the different versions and older ones are worth more than that. Wishing Chair again by Enid Blyton. That one I'll sell for three pound. And an old fifties strip book cartoon book, Jimmy at the Zoo, lovely little book. I'll sell that for £10. So that's everything that I bought this week or at this particular car boot sale. The whole lot cost me around £15 and all added together worth a lot more so that's it for, the, for this one I'll speak to you again soon please check out all the web links underneath and um, we'll see you soon